Karibu sana to another sana kwa sana Sunday session on this 15th day of January at 11:02 p.m. na tumai upande wako uko salama. Leo ilikuwa tuwe na mazungumzo na mahojiano na msanii anaitwa M Rumbi. Sijui iwapo unafahamu M Rumbi but ilikuwa tuwe na mahojiano naye hapo awali lakini haijakuwepo iwapo you follow us on Instagram unaweza homo na kwa the stories nikishare a reel nikisema kuna mahojiano na Rumbi lakini haija happen tuna e postpone but happen at way way further and later than today from now that is in a happen hivi karibuni so look out for that ilikuwa tuifanye before ni live for our sunday session officially as we usually do so watch out for that inafanyika ingekuwa fiti sana kama inge happen because yesterday i also had an interview that was successful a beautiful sana kwa sana moment na nilikuwa nimeitaja kwa two or so sessions before nikisema if things go as nilikuwa nime plan as nilikuwa nime imagine tutakuwa na something beautiful coming through and that tumepanga na ilifanyika kwa hivyo jana that happened na ikawa siku yenye fanaka watch out for that hivi karibuni as well it seems tumeamua tunafanya mahojiano na wasanii mwaka and i am here for it something that tulisema a year ago we want to do more of what i want to do more of na ime happen and i'm glad we are taking that direction at this point acha niseme iwapo you have someone in mind mwenye ungetaka kuona tiki interview feel free to suggest kwa comments under hii video whether uko youtube whether uko instagram popote inakubalika tuone whom you would want us to sit down with and talk pia u consider we are just a small channel small 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 channel so ki suggest mtu ensure pia uko na namba zao ni utusaidie kuwatafuta na kuwapata au kujifu hizi interviews sawa sawa with that being said to recap our week hakuna much to recap because last week tulikuwa na a brief conversation a brief session here which ilikuwa as it appeared and as it was eventually after a session ilisha ilikuwa a moment ya those who've abandoned sana kwa sana kurudi so ilikuwa the return of the prodigals and ku hang out to kiasi kuongelea machache and then tuka discuss pia na watu walio hapa nikiwaambia vile mtutupa na kuwakumbusha vile tunahitaji support yao na how we also need your support if you're watching this one person one prodigal child aliyerudi ni viva yeye alionyesha support yake on her comeback last week so alikuwa ni watch nikiwa live alafu alikuwa ana replay a video ya our 2022 recap then pia alikuwa ana na pale patreon kutafuta kuna what's happening there hizi ni vitu ambavyo nawe pia unaweza fanya kutu support kama sana kwa sana so that was the video that ilikuwa our session we kill you peter half an hour to kamaliza then the following day on monday ilikuwa mziki ya wiki 2.031 a video that unafaa kucheki later tomorrow now maali tomorrow in the morning hours kutakuwa na mziki ya wiki 2.032 kama unaanga hizi series za hizi video za mziki ya wiki asante sana kama hujaziona ama kama mwana moja ama mbili ama sam check out your playlist on the amount of music that to me cover and the kind of music that me cover usisikize usikie sentiments zangu importantly because that is the most important part as you're giving me your view as you're giving me your like as you're subscribing if you haven't yet or telling people that we are existing and you're giving them a lead and showing them the path to freedom which ni sana kwa sana in the path to serenity we offer that and more so after that akukua na any other video hii wiki kwa channel mpumue kidogo videos ni kibao sana you're not even close to finishing what we have offered kwa hiyo channel but kuna more videos coming through hii wiki if i get to edit the reviews that tulifanya wiki ya mwisho ya december hizo zinafaa kuwa zina come out and the video the conversation that nili have the interview that tulifanya jana if all goes according to plan we should be sharing that on saturday a special day and it is connected to 
the interview that tulifanya naweza kutest na nikuulize whom do you think to the interview and what do you think the conversation could be about so naweza guess kwa comments pia as you tell us whom ungependa to interview whom waka we are looking forward to sitting down na more artists so as the video is titled kwa sababu tuko na mengi hivi kwenye imeisha let's get into what ni me title e video as paza sauti na unganisha na nimeunganisha mada mbili paza sauti walikuwa na event yao ya mwaka naweza sema ilikuwa ni sema ya kwanza pia ilikuwa ni sema annual because walikuwa na annual events so they had that on 10th january 2023 ilikuwa hii wiki imepita on tuesday at lava latte hapo ndio wamefanya pia their other annual events stangu 20 21 so in 2020 and 2021 walikuwa active mtandaoni waki establish their platform walikuwa na lots of live sessions online with different artists talking about different topics and thematic concerns of scope of discussions and then in 2021 after easy activities zote zime culminate na kumekuwa na a momentum and a build up walikuwa na an event at Lavalate which ilikuwa an anthology released on 25th of July the anthology inaitwa poems for the start of the world and if you go back to some of those live sessions that is what walikuwa wana cover wa kificha different poets when walikuwa na perform na share pieces zao na walikuwa na discussions as well So the event ili feature Jazia, Koi, Frequency, Cole, Agneta na Shiki as well as Divine Rebel na Bakita. Then after this happened wali tulia wakaenda kwa the wakaenda what's the what's the what's the what's the preposition? Wakaenda to the to the background adi ali 2022 na isa ndio event yenye mini lienda yao ilikuwa ina happen on 16th january 2022 kwa hiyo event after tukuwa na spontaneous interviews and then tulikuwa pia tumekuwa geko na nikahaba mazungumzo na lisa during the event kulikuwa na performance huko hiyo performance that nongele ilikuwa ya Aaron Rimbui, Eddie Gray na Amani Baya iko mtandaoni nilishare nili record bits of the performance or an hour plus of the performance unaweza icheki and then the following week nilikuwa Lavalate for Paza Sauti their collective anthology issue which is now another one in Paza Sauti collective anthology issue one hiyo nyingine ilikuwa poems for the start of the world so this is ilikuwa their second published anthology <clears throat> so kuangalia meeting Lisa Dornoa for the first time before drop album yake a month later na mi ku feel ningependa ku have more conversations na artists then meeting the Paza Sauti team have interacted with Koi obviously kwa the scene before I've interacted na Jazia il come first time ku meet frequency Ivan was another act when alikuwa kwa lineup I also met na interacted na Ivan before so frequency ndio alikuwa na meet mara ya kwanza but ni interact na kazi yake for a while so meeting the entire team na being part of the event kuna how the show went and getting a chance afterwards kuzungumza nao easy activities that nimetaja zili nipatia hiyo impetus ya kudai kufanya more conversations na artists because it's something that i have wanted to do and we have also wanted to do as a team part of foundation ya sana kwa sana na nimesemanga hapa mara kadhaa ilikuwa kupata nafasi apart from reviewing music and having discussions kuhusu music and artistic commentary ilikuwa pia tuwe na mazungumzo na wasanii a lot of interviews a lot of conversations kupata perspectives na insights regarding whatever tutazungumzia so hiyo ilikuwa a huge part of the foundation 
Yasanako Sana. He is back, not the blog or the channel, but the idea of Sana Kwa Sana. So, kuona iki happen, it may happen in various formats through the years, through written interviews for the blog. That has been a format that it may happen, or my event reviews where after events, ni me uliza wa sanim, aswali kuhusu their events and their showcases, zi may happen. But now seeing this being a reality kwa channel is a step higher a step further a notch higher na ina tie to zile ideas nilizokuwa nazo and the thoughts and the ambitions that i had when when nilikuwa na form he idea so with that and for that event after it happened nili randomly interview jazia frequency na koikare another video that you should definitely watch a lot of insights that tutapata kusu paza sauti and more. So with that one, ilikuwa the launch, ilikuwa a launch of the book na unge <coughs> lipa so nane unge pata anthology yako. So ilikuwa na advance and then kwa, kwa do, kulikuwa six so na eight so kama unge taka anthology. I have mine here. And pia for the advance, ilikuwa, no, ilikuwa kwa, kwa mlangu, so nane na it so for the anthology. Then advance, punch, and then if you wanted the anthology as well, ingekuwa tenga moza. My copy, iko mbali, but I do have my copy that nearly get from there. So actually, kwa na perform, kwa frequency, Ivan, Jazia, na Koikare. And then after that event, wali enda again pale kwenye background, wakaenda chini ya maji for the rest of the year. Naam. And then wame kuja in January again, yu manali kwa nasema annual. So July, anthology yao ya kwanza, and then Jan of 2022, anthology yao ya pili, and then now Jan of 2023 walikuwa na another event which was different from easy events zingine zile wamefanya so ili kuwa ushoga ni uhuru happened on the 10th of december 10th ni because ni mwana december kwa screen yangu 10th of january 2023 as nimesema 5 days ago so paza sauti presents ushoga ni uhuru a celebration and commemoration of queer kenyans 2022 was a devastating year for the LGBTQIA plus community, Kenyans. We are hosting this event in order to commemorate our lost siblings as well as to bring in, in the new year, celebrating the love that sustains our community in the face of ongoing violence. Free poetry book for all who donate more than 1,500 Kenyan shillings. Advance ilikuwa punch. Kwa mlangu ilikuwa tenga moja. Proceeds from the event go to the Trans Queer Fund, KE, and loved ones of Sheila Lumumba. So, E walikuwa na share the poster on December 21st. And the acts when walikuwa wana perform, walio perform, kulikuwa na Ima, Ima Raid, kulikuwa na Bell, Chiron, kulikuwa na Koyo, Frequency, na the Bambis. The Bambis are our our people Pia kulikuwa na nafasi ya open mic the previous event as well ilikuwa na an open mic hiyo ya last year in Jan na since haikukuwa na a focus in terms of theme in terms of scope as i said earlier the show and the performances were open. Uki compare na what we had for this edition of their performances. Niaji tito, eh, imekuwa long, imekuwa long. Natuma yuko salama, man. So, with this one, kulikuwa na specific goal and objective. So, the open mic pieces, yuwapo unge daiku perform, ama yuwapo uliku na perform, ilikuwa zifollow the theme of queer love and resistance. 
na tumongela events and watu ku curate events in terms of performances in terms of experiences and when you have a particular objective kuhakisha kwamba whoever is performing wame stick to that objective mwenye kukuwe na that sort of unifying experience kwa each act mwenye anapanda kwa stage and the overall experience that you get as an attendee of the event So the first time we're going to share in December 21st we came up an event in a happen on 10th January 2023 then hook our the unfortunate passing ya Edwin Chiloba and the post that he follow on January 6th ilikuwa ili read as follows today we join our community in anger and mourning at the murder of Edwin Chiloba a fashion icon a friend to many and a soul who's spread love and beauty despite the personal danger in doing so we honor edwin with this found poem in quotes using their recent ig posts and we will be doing an additional in person fundraiser at our show ushogan yuhuru this coming tuesday to support costs for edwin's untimely burial though donations can be made at any time through mpesa to 0745148859 with a with an sms or whatsapp message saying for edwin please follow queer initiative for a statement please follow q initiative for a statement on edwin's murder and check out our ig stories for free mental health services they are offering for anyone in need after this horrible tragedy we are in contact and we'll connect with them after the show tuesday to facilitate donations for edwin So this was on January 6th four days to the event Ushogani Uhuru the more posters in the photos it was in a highlight the acts when you likuwa wa perform Salamu to Sheri salamu to Ivia nimeongelea prodigal children of sana kwa sana ivia is one of them na pia amepatikana hapa leo ame follow footsteps za wale waliopotea wakaja wiki uliyo, wiki iliyopita sheri is our people sheri asante sana for being here mara nyingine ivia karibu sana karibu sana welcome back karibu nyumbani home is always open this is sana kwa sana milango zetu huwa milango yetu huwa inabaki imefunguliwa mioyo yetu huwa imebaki imefunguliwa kwa hivyo umekaribishwa kwa mara nyingine ukitaka pia kutoka na kunenda na kurudi baada ya miaka na mikaka inakubalika mapenzi yetu huwa hayaishi karibu sana nyumbani Nime correct nikasema milango yetu nime correct unajifanya hapa unajifanya mswahili hapa the point is that you are a prodigal one hiyo ndio point sawa so on on tuesday <laughs> i went for the commemoration nilifika nimechelewa ingawaje i really wanted to get there early as early as i did for the previous one because yani as a corner all the performances and since it was a different event the previous one ya mwaka uliopita hakukuwa na watu wengi ili kuwa na an agency that ilifanya the audience kuwe way bigger than what ilikuwa kwa the previous one iliyofanyika last year na nilijua that would have been the case but regardless of me kufika kama nimechelewa after kutoka sehemu za thicker road na kuka kwa gari for long na kuishi barabarani eventually niliwasili and you could feel your moment ya commemoration yes but also tying to the objective of the event a celebration of love and a moment that they are 
trying to share amongst themselves and kujaribu in as much as they are commemorating a lost one but also just remembering their 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 presence and remembering pia awinyewe their existence and the love that keeps unifying them as a community so sikuweza kupata the event in its entirety where i can talk about it vile ilikuwa i only managed kuona the open mic performances and then nikapata some conversations which ilikuwa sort of an open forum as and in tandem with moment ya kupoa libation so as that was happening kulikuwa na an open question ya what ushoga ni uhuru means ilio ulizo and then a few people aka share their sentiments as libation walikuwa na poa and then kukawa na the open mic performances because at that time liko nimefika kulikuwa kushaka kuwa na all the acts walikuwa kwa lineup had already performed so kile tu ili happen ilikuwa the open mic performances and these parts of the conversation that wali walikuwa wana have and for example best friend ya the late Sheila Lumumba alikuwa pia pale na akazungumza kiasi baadaye after event ilikuwa inakamilika na when the activities zilikuwa zimefika tamati so kitu kama hicho for example but the the communal moment ni important and kukuwa na kukuwa na hii moment ya 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 union kwa ni moment ya memory, in moment ya remembrance, in moment ya celebration ni important for the community and you could feel that there in as much as part of the reason ya the event ilikuwa a sad occurrence ilikuwa a tragedy outside of also Shilobas mada kulikuwa pia na the commemoration that was intended while they were sharing the original poster as nime soma alia because of the amount of loss that walipitia as a community in 2022 and this being a reality and frequency pia alikuwa ameshare i think alishare kwa page yake alisema hakuwa certain na hakuwa tia me plan kufanya a show in january but ju alikuwa around ko alikuwa in the country ali feel the need ya kukuwa na hii event and so from your poster yenye wali share na your post caption imesoma ya december 21st you can see the sort of intention and ile sentiment alikuwa nayo na ka choose ku share and that ili inform ushoga ni uhuru the commemoration ya the lives and the souls that wamepoteza huko mwaka uliopita and in a happen in a way that since they are here and they are planning that they are here now look on a plan to commemorate lost souls again or undergo another loss so kuangalia what the community in a undergo in this country and what the lgbtqia plus community want to go in the world a lot of trauma a lot of pain that wana pitia and ku kwa na easy moments that you can sit with your community members and reflect and remember and celebrate and feel ni beautiful platforms kuona and pasa sauti has done a brilliant job at enabling this to exist and making this a possibility and being watching that and experiencing the small part of the event that nearly experience you could feel easy emotions zote na easy feelings zote that nimesema walikuwa wana intend ku ku share na walikuwa na intend ku capture with this moment that was ushoga ni uhuru I do not know kama kutakuwa na something else by them who mwaka tena knowing their annual pattern wouldn't be 
surprised kama the next one itakuwa mwaka ujao 2024 inakambali but then again tshafika half way through january 15 days imeenda hivyo <laughs> so hizi miezi pia zinaweza kimbia na ifike jan 2024 na wanafanya their annual event yo huo wakati tena but they played their role na wamefanya something important something significant something powerful na ilikuwa a moment just being there and so easy ni conversations that i have said here before we should definitely keep having and questioning ourselves a lot and the belief systems ambazo tuko nazo and where tumezitoa na how tulikuwa inculcated into certain belief systems and questioning our biases our blind spots and learning a lot and basically fundamentally upholding human dignity basically fundamentally upholding human dignity that is important na hiyo ni an inalienable right human right ninge na performances ninge break it down as i usually do but if you're watching this and unataka more information on Paza Sauti tafuta Paza Sauti mtandaoni utawapata at Paza Sauti underscore Kenya on Instagram. Ukitaka kuona the interview that nilisema nilifanya na Jazia mwenye alikuwa the MC Frequency na Koikare unaweza pata hiyo video on YouTube kama uko hapa YouTube unaweza ipata on YouTube kama uko Instagram unaweza enda pale YouTube utaipata part of that video ni hiyo interview ama hizo interviews nilizofanya nao watatu and part of it is part of the event that we really record live some performances for you so ili really fall in place that after those performances kulikuwa na a chance ya kuongea na the acts who are on stage and build a conversation from that then go from that and talk about other aspects of our society and other aspects of their lives so that is something that you should definitely check out and the anthologies as well unaweza zipata uki reach out to them <coughs> Unganisha the producer and artist producer and singer producer and performer and instrumentalist lakini wote pia ni instrumentalists wote ni producers wote ni artists the duo ya Labdi na Band Unganisha walikuwa na show at Move Bistro and Cafe Jana on the 14th January 2023 kama ni mtu wa sana kwa sana kama unaonanga our reviews kama unaonanga easy sunday sessions kama unazisikianga maybe unazisikia ka podcast kama rio as you move on na businesses zako if you do any of this unaweza kwa mtu sketch kiongele unganisha if you've watched our media list of 2022 for top EPs tuliongelea unganisha so umesikia hili jina mara kadha na hatimaye after sana kwa sana kulia na kulilia na kulilia na kulilia tamasha kutoka unganisha hatimaye ili happen na katupatia tamasha at move bistro and cafe and they've performed obviously they've performed they are touring artists they are performing artists they've performed in the country before and outside of the country before but what we could say many a show that is exclusively unganish as where they have been featured and they've been called to perform so walikuwa recently at beneath the baobab beneath the baobabs at kilifi for the new year wali perform huko another act i know who performed was bakita i know 
I know Navalayo pia alikuwa ana perform amongst other acts many Kenyan acts wali play na who play huko so najua alikuwa na hiyo show and that is just the other week two weeks ago during the new year celebration then happened to know that wako na show nearly complain to concerned parties that after your biggest supporters wenye ni sana kwa sana kulia na kusema tupatiwe show cc mwenye tumetisha show for an eternity hatuwezi hata ambiwa tukuje show hatuwezi hata jua we just happened to know that there is a show i complained to the parties wenye wako concerned na wenye wako responsible show ili happen at move the last and the first time nilikuwa move ilikuwa time trouble hii really kwa middle east na sleep walikuwa na play and then unajua mr mr tra huchezanga huko sana nilikuwa ki hone skills zake pale kwenye decks but hiyo day tulikuwa tumetoka session yake ya cheche na kili black for the amaliza roho sessions na kuna a video vixen hapa mwenye me to join another prodigal child so many of you not you to hood si wewe si wewe haiwezi kuwa wewe naongelea kemi mwenye mbuni mwingine mwenye me tutupa kama sana kwa sana lakini vile nimesema hapa vile nimesema milango yetu kama sana kwa sana mioyo yetu huwa imefunguliwa wakati wote kwa hivyo unaweza enda upotee miaka na mikaka lakini pia ukipata muda unaweza rudi papa hapa utatupata karibu sana kemi karibu nyumbani so that day ilikuwa in september that was on 11th after session ya tra na kili black tukaenda kusikia east na sleek waki play ilikuwa mara kwanza huko and then here i was again for unganisha na nilikuwa na feel as if i have been to move more than once after ku ponder whether i should go for the show specifically jana because nilikuwa na mizigo ile nilikuwa na beba na nasafirisha kutoka upande mmoja hadi mwingine nilikuwa na ponda kama niende bado lakini nikamoa kuishia kwa sababu nilikuwa na taka sana sana kuwaona na singepoteza hiyo opportunity i lost an opportunity on friday i wanted to watch two acts whose music i love their sound choices are extremely fascinating and unique na mara ya kwanza tunampokea dada yetu liboy liboy sasa natumai kwa salama karibu sana nyumbani karibu sana tu sana kwa sana ah wasani wenye nazungumzia wenye ningependa sana kuona but singeweza kwenda kuwaona walikuwa at the mist on friday mmoja ni kamaru mwingine ni nyokabi kariuki thinking about it sai bado inaniuma that sikuweza kuwaona na nisikie sets zao ki perform their projects live i would have loved to watch kamaru live in yokabi karuki and the thing ni is in moments that ukipoteza the next time utazipata uwezi jua ni lini kwa sababu for kamaru na nyokabi wanaishi nje nchi and then kuwapata inakuanga you'll just see them kwa concerts huko nje waki perform wakifanya their thing na wakipata fanaka vile inafaa lakini kwa na hapa inakuanga sporadically so ningetaka sana 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 kuona but haiku happen lakini at least niweza kuona unganisha at move jana na wakatuunganisha sisi kama mashabiki wao hata kama hatukuambiwa kuna tamasha sisi kama number one fans wenye tumelia na tukalia na tukalilia tamasha sisi kama number one fans wenye tukuambiwa still tulifurahia tukajibamba liboy 
Kwa hiyo pia sisi kama namba 1 fans ukiona show mm? sisi ni VIP Tuwezi kwa tumeku support for a decade alafu bado unataka tuju event randomly online kwa nini utuheshimu mm? wasani sisi kama sana kwa sana the greatest to ever do it why are we still having such moments za kuwa na kuwa remind several times tumtuambie tukuje show na mtualike kama vip za hadi lini hadi lini hadi lini unganisha the drop the debut project kucheza last year in april a project that we review you can check that out iwapo hujawai iona and to litaja kwa our mid year list kusema the eps that we thought and feel strongly are the best <laughs> eps at your time jua kenya pia liamua wasani hawalali wakatupatia so much music during the last half of the year but at that time when we were doing our videos tuliongelea unganisha ni kwa certain ita appear kwa lists zetu as well which we seemingly will never do <laughs> so imaginatively hmm? ita appear somewhere kwa vichwa vyetu kama watu wa sana kwa sana so wali perform the project not vile ina flow kwa the EP but the songs wali zi tupa mle ndani kwa set yao which ilikuwa set ya 1 hour and 15 minutes so siju kama tutaongelea show za Kenya na wakati ama ama tuseme tani confirm kama walisema doors open ama show starts at before ni raise my usual complaints Alisema alisema from from 7 pm it's a it's a safe way ya kulika watu kwa event from 7 pm lakini pia nilikuwa najua there is no ring ya za 7 pm because we know how shows do we know how you Kenyan people do katika hizo shows so ilikuwa uh, from 7 pm so from that time at the time ile walipanda jukwani which ilikuwa 9:30 naam 9:30 <laughs> kulikuwa na DJ Ali Fresh aliyekuwa on the decks aki play part nilimpata akicheza kwa siku fika yo 7 after kuponda whether nafaa kwenda the event or not wakati nilifika nilisikia some a few drill not uh, rumba drill rumba ya watenda wili but kulikuwa na easy rumba trap songs zile walicheza na kina Savara and very the usual the usual that utapata waki tamba katika vilabu vya Kenya kama wana mziki. so my excitement na mimi kutaka kuunganisha live ilikuwa worthwhile so alipanda on stage at 9:30 set yao ilikuwa an hour and 15 minutes so alimaliza 10:45 walicheza 12 songs in total If you've listened to Kucheza or Kucheza as Roger would state you know the energy the vibrance the dynamism in that EP kwanza track 1 hadi track number 5 and under 17 minutes you are done and it's a project that is so easy to replay nani banga after banga the chemistry and e energy that we create pamoja band as a producer and as an electronic producer an electronic musician and mse mwenye ni a sound artist and a sound designer then labdi who's an instrumentalist a singer songwriter and a performer that combination that that is a perfect match si juli hapenaje but listening to the ep na kusikia how they are constructing their songs it's something that how is imagine in as a happen having listened to labdi over the years na nime watch live i was telling labdi jana that the last time we were on the live was in 
na hiyo ilikuwa during his women in concert series that Gute used to do so i don't think they oh, how is fanyangi so hiyo day kulikuwa na yeye kulikuwa na atemi and one more act mwenye alikuwa na perform and it was the last time i watched labdi aki perform live so it's been that long that long but ukisikiza tonality yake ukisikiza music yake and her compositions haungedhani ungekuwa na such a moment where ana pair na such a producer and who's a sound designer and the way band plays with electronic music is something else though ukisikia tracks za labdi zile amefanya na other producers kama ni remixes here and there kuna moja is it with Fadili or Tetu najua kuna ngoma na na Tetu wako hata upendo from Tetu's debut studio debut album life before the apocalypse that we review towards the end of 2021 wako na another song again together but um, kuna a specific collab I'm trying to remember so ukisikiza There's a way that voice yake ina fit kwa hizi kind of production bado but now bands energy na dynamism iko kwa another level altogether so listening to the combination of easy walls zile wana come from and then fusing rutu mlendani and vocal performances zalabdi on the ep and how that combines something magical so getting a chance ya ku experience live pia ni something else ilikuwa ina feel kama moment ya ku experience trouble na kili black for maliza roho which as an album that it took early in 2022 before to review nilikuwa nimesikia sana then during the year pia nilikuwa nimesikia sana so by the time they were doing their session in september i had listened to that album a lot in 2020 ilikuwa our first year sana kwa sana tuli review Sadfa as one of the first projects to recover hiyo pia ni another project that nilikuwa nimesikia sana before to review and after the review up until the time ya their church session tra na Kili Black na wali perform those two projects and listening to them live unaweza na my review of that event ilikuwa a different experience altogether and you even wished ungeisikia kwa a larger space kwa larger more booming speakers so for unganisha ilikuwa the same nimesikia EPL sana 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 before to review ukumbuke pia niliwambia kuhusu our tragedy hapa tukifanya our recap that ilikuwa part of the projects that we have to review twice so nilikuwa nimesikia mara nyingi sana and then after that during the year nimesikia sana So those two sessions those two events those two concerts that nime attend here Trabulina Kili Black na hiya Unganisha have been the concerts that I've gone to where nime sing along na nime rap along the most kwa sababu nimesikia the projects sana na ili feel ni kama I am watching this artist tour or ili feel ni kama hii ndio essence ya wasanii kutua release a project watu wanaisikiza and once you're selling your tickets people come through for the show and as they're watching you perform that is what they are experiencing the same thing na kwenda event ya Savara in June last year Ali drop Savage Level in February watching the crowd interact with their music that is exactly clearly going to happen i may drop a project in Feb what I'm scared for this for so months before could you show and they are singing along to Izo Mangoma Niliona matata walikuwa na show mwaka ukiisha hiyo pia i saw the performances snippets of those niliona how the crowd will interact with them with with the music and there's it toka mwanzo wa november na november 4th so pia fans wao and their listeners wali pata chance ya kukaa with the project for about two months before in the show na waone the performance na pia walikuwa soul fest so even your the international industry the international scene who are in a work you release a project people listen to the project and then you go to events and performances who are sort of a tour chain ku patia fans your chance to interact na ku experience the music live kando na au ku experience by themselves or vile huwa wanaisikiza that was what nili kwa na feel kwa issue ya unganisha 
acha nikane zapata ipo sasa yeye alikuwa anasema ilikuwa sero I, uh, i was about to say sero ilikuwa sero yeye alikuwa labi sero na atemi that was oh early 2018 early 2018 15th March 2018 that was the event that nilikuwa nasema So the five songs go EP Chunya Longni Hotel Leko Duguru na Koro ni the five songs that will play as part of the set waki zipea na other songs kwa catalog yao kama the kucheza song which ilikuwa i think the first single was released officially and then their ep came to be titled kucheza and uh, kuna ngoma kama paro which is out that is another one that will perform kuna cheza usilie which is a single that was released in September mwaka uliopita walizitoa pia on vinyls i ordered mine because this is what i do i i just don't hate on music as a professional ndio ni hate i have to buy and or listen so there is that then waka play pia a premiere that inafa kutoka this week so tulipata an exclusive sisi kama fans wenye wanaenda ku support wasanii na kuno tikiti kwenda show so 12 songs the energy was there and for their kind of music ni fascinating kuna how one works around that kwa sababu the danger of being hyped in the production that you're singing over or performing over as a vocalist ni that the energy ku maintain kwa that level inaweza kuwa tricky for an entire hour or an hour and a half or two so kuona that kuna hizi moments where the energy inashuka and the songs are karma still still vibrant and energetic electronic production but seeing that is an aspect of performance that in a idea kubadilisha tempo kubadilisha mood na still to keep the audience engaged and another important thing in akwanga knowing when and where to place certain songs kwa your catalog ukiangalia energy ya crowd and then the songs that you're engaging them on ni ngoma za aina gani na unao engage aje tuongele engagement hapa before nikitoka cheche session ya kamore and then i reflected on yasero usero kwa msani mwenye u engage audience yake kila wakati na ni something that pia alitaja kwa hiyo intermission where one interviews the artist when you featured for his session na alikuwa anasema how and i prefer intimate sessions because it's a way you can play around the structuring of your performances of your songs and involve the crowd in a lot of spontaneous moments then for Kamore's performance tulikuwa ni Ruka specifically and kuna aspects of engagement that tulikuwa tuna jadiliana kuhusu how one should engage and when you should engage but mostly how unafaa kuifanya as a performer so just reflecting on isho ya jana that is another sentiment that nilikuwa nafikiria and in terms of where una choose ku engage and then how you sort of maintain the energy in terms of not losing audience yako na kuweka hapo and ikifika an hour and 15 minutes later after you are done wanaitisha an onko they want to listen to one more song so kitu kama hiyo and their production their sonic choices kama tu kamaru na nyoka bikariuki wenye nilikosa kuona very unique sound choices and the production completely engaging so with that again on the energy of their production 
I think rather with with their sound if the sound is not well balanced and well mixed with sound technician unaweza lose a lot and then pia ndili notice kumbuki what kind of speakers walikuwa nazo the other time ilikuwa move but these speakers walikuwa nazo they are tiny speakers i think the speakers are santuri because santuri are part of when you are this idea unganisha kuunganisha their first <laughs> self organized show ndio wana nilikuwa nazusha nikisema sisi kama first first people the first people when you are the show mbona tukuitoa kwa issue yenyewe ya kwanza but these speakers ni small speakers kulikuwa na a monitor so the audio reception could be a challenge and this is something that nimeongelea nikikava events zile zime happen at the alchemist in terms of sound however the other thing ni since nimeongelea production yao and how it is defined and characterized ni the vocalist in such a setting sasa kama mwenye ni labdi if the level ya mic yake haiko juu ama haijabalansiwa vizuri ku match what band ana play cause the production in a define e performance and that is a huge part of the experience that tunapata inakuwa tricky kwa sababu if the levels are not well and they were not done to that level the experience itself and end up imekuwa imekuwa affected kwa sababu tunafakuwa able to skiza and you notice this whenever an artist tries to engage the audience and then the audience does not respond what happens si at hadira haitaki to respond lakini like, kwa sababu hadira haijasikia kile unasema kwa sababu sound imekumeza na because ni hard hitting drums and a lot happening ki production that ilikuwa the case katika the performance where the vocals are labdi haziku kuwa tweaked na ziku shughulikiwa technically to the best of the ability ya the technician na, na kutupache the best of lab, lab, labdi as a vocalist throughout the performance so if that ingekuwa tweaked better inge favor the performance a lot more lakini bado wali come through wote labdi ali perform na urutu kwa a performance also kwanza huko towards mwisho and all through kuna point wali ali to engage in a dance kuna time ali to engage kwa Jika mani koro ama luangni hotel that's luangni hotel the second track kwa the ep and it's only to engage kwa hiyo ngoma vocally and energy yake all through ilikuwa consistent alikuwa into the performance hiyo pia ni another thing that we in a translate kwa hadhira yako when as an artist you're into your performance and you want the audience to you enjoy your performance you could see that kwa ke you could also see that kwa band and when you look on share easy songs for example the premier labdi aki akisema alikuwa anajiuliza which song is that you're playing akakumbuka it's a new song that is supposed to be released he wiki he banta Mm-hmm. banta <laughs> ile wako nayo and being free na open kwa stage they had fun and equally sisi upande wa hadhira tuli furahia as well and enjoyed the music highlight 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 of the year bila mwako umeanza mwaka sasa mwaka inaisha sasa tushone unganisha what what else is there what else is there and kuna moments that band was just going off yo take some time kama kwa instagram ungali stories za unganisha utapata some snippets that capture that alikuwa possessed and that was an experience that i am glad nilieza kuenda na nikawatch and i knew that would happen 
Imana alikuwa anasema ningependa sana kuona live na nione how they will <coughs> perform and how they will play with their sound and how their chemistry to go on stage and how their energies zita match and how their musicalities zita combine and i watched all of that kwa hiyo show kabado jaskia kucheza at this point ya life yako almost a year tangu itoke If you watching this later na umeanzia mwanzo cuz people who are here hapo kwa na mimi nikianza Ivunganisha would be a name you would throw based on the question that Nyoliza earlier feel free to let me know <laughs> You're watching this side na uko nikianza you can go back na one kile niko nauliza ndio ukacha up na what it is nasema Unaweza unganisha mawazo ambayo na nena look out for the premier song inaitwa nisaidie ina husu mental health kwa wale wenye walikuwa nasi Ijumaa ule upande mwingine mental health is familiar how things align when it comes to sana kwa sana all the time look out for that na follow unganisha atunganisha music hapa Instagram watafute pia on YouTube unganisha music na usikize ngoma zao lakini kwanza anza na review yetu ya kucheza That's where you start with. So see come the source. Mm mm how 15 days of January is Misha. Now we are getting to 16th January in a few seconds just like that. Another thing that ndapena heads up about nilikuwa nifanya an interview na M Rumbi earlier he will quite happen before e Sunday session tuna e postpone but it na happen if you carry boni possibly in the next 24 hours it may happen possibly so you pia ni something else that you're supposed to look out for and nilikuwa nasema i wish it will happen ndio ya line na mimi kukuwa kuwa nimefanya an interview juice now that it's 0000 16th jan 2023 nilifanya an interview on saturday that is supposed to come out tv karibuni i am super excited about it super super excited about it na nimesema tunataka ku take hi path more homeworker and i am looking forward to kuona kama itawezekana so kuna swali ni muuliza nikianza hii video if you watching this later kwa yule ali hapa unaweza rudi uone vile ilianza if you watching this after then unajua kile niliuliza pale mwanzoni kuhusu interviews so do your thing kwa comment section as i asked nashukuru sana for joining another sana kwa sana sunday session Shukran to the <laughs> the african anajijua graziella shukran to miles g shukran to liboy shukran to tunhood mwenye msema yezi kwa vixen ana feature za kwa vixen <laughs> Mm, came in the vixen mashuhuri tafuteni kemi mpatie kazi ya kwa vixen kwa video
Shukran to Hazel, shukran to Evia, shukran to Sheri, shukran to Tito. Tito uh, Bendihuru. Another song that unganisha walicheza ilikuwa Christmasy. Christmasy. Ni aje vixen wetu. Christmasy walitoa ule wakati wa Christmasy. Wakati wa sherehe. Wakati wa kumsherekea Yesu. So on YouTube their name ni Unganisha on IG Unganisha Music na on Facebook pia Unganisha Music <laughs> Oof, there's a there's a banger they performed they are on their songs ngoma zao ni bangers but kuna moja towards the end yo yo i shared a snippet on instagram yo ah ah man their sound their sound is everything Yeah. <laughs> 
Kama umesikiza EP, you know how after this song, the next song follows. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. One of the best EPs to come out of 2022. To come out in 2022. One of the best EPs of 2022. Tun huda meka imojia fire. Alafu shiwete ya kasema sound gas and detected. Sana kwa sana huo haidang. Ndiyo. To hate obviously as professionals. To miskia kazi. Possibly to minunua pia. Ndiyo pia tupende. To miskia kazi. Mara katha. Simba na moja tu. Hatuwezi kumislead. Usi trust watu wengine kama si sana kwa sana. The rest achana na sisi. Sisi ndiyo kusema. Kenya nasema they released the video on my birthday. Ha, itoka itoka birthday yako. Chrissy Masi. Nimesema, ntafte kemi kwa vixen kwa video. Ndiye huyo hapo. Kitu kingine nimekumbuka ni kimaliza regarding performances. When people go to performances, it's live and a live experience for a reason. Watu wanakuja kupata something that they do not get when they are listening to the recorded versions of these songs. So you need to do that. Nita acknowledge from Unganisha. These songs, they played with the arrangements where maybe a chorus would come in where the following verse would come in, where kuna certain harmonies and melodies, vocal vocalizations that you call the recorded tracks, where those would come in, how they would come in, while you a lot of playfulness and ku experiment, na ku zifanya differently from vile utazipata kwa the recorded works. Nili i appreciate sana, kwa sababu inaonesha an aspect ya kukua meticulous, na kukuwa playful na pia kukuwa intentional kupatia mtu a different experience from what utapata as the record is na vile wana iskizanga na vile wame izoya so that is something that nakumbuka niki note as I'm listening umesikiza verse and then unaza kuimba chorus but chorus ya ija ingia wameenda place ingine even how Bant alikuwa ana play na where alikuwa na lead the music and then how Labdi would follow and take us to wherever alikuwa naenda na vile pia angekari certain aspects of vocalizations zile ziko kama ni whatever ni mefanya alia ya ntumesikia kwa luang ni hotel atakiisha moments kama hizo where they would come in they really 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 played with the arrangements and gave them so much life na nikitu mese manga when it comes to performances you are giving the recorded material life over and over again. Unaifanya kwa dynamic as you are doing it differently kwa your performance. Zata kama ni kuchange one melody line, kama ni kuchange one verse, kama ni kuchange kwenye chorus ina ingia. Bado unaifanya kwa exciting na engaging to the listener. And aku yuvu mimi as the biggest fan, I was the one who was singing along to everything. Awa kina kemi ni fraud. Awa chawa ni vixens. Iyo ni leni yao. Mimi leni yangu ni kusikiza mziki. And I do it well. Uliza Labdi atakuambia who was singing those songs. The rest were looking at me wondering. 
huyu anajuaje yes this is kazi yangu imeisha na mkija nimemaliza ukija unaweza soma comment ya sheria hapo juu ni kama sheri pia ako na wewe anasema you clearly have got a life ili maliza hizi live fast <laughs> mm? niliambiwa na kija hapo nitafute maisha alafu sasa hii nikimaliza na nikitafuta maisha anazusha i think sheri ulikuwa hapa kija kini enjoy mm. now that i am living life <laughs> yeah, you missed three hour live sessions which kija you never even stay for all through sheri aki complain hmm? sheri aki zusha i can understand wewe well, ukizusha hmm? live ilikuwa zinaanza saa hii <laughs> live imeisha live imeisha Asante sana for being here for another sana kwa sana Sunday session. Shukran Tito kwa mara nyingine. Shukran Sheri, shukran Via, shukran Hazel. Asante sana Tunhood. Asante our Vix and Kemi. Asante Liboy amepitia hapa mara ya kwanza. Asante to Miles G, Asante to the African Graziella mara ya kwanza kwa kwake kuwa hapa. Na Asante to Kija mwenye umetoka vacation akaja hapa wa mwisho. Now you see Kija amekuwa vacation. Sasa sisi tusipumzike na tumefanya hii kazi tumefanya hii kazi also tumefika 717 subscribers so so asante sana the work that you are doing inafanya kazi if you are doing any work if not your gratitude si yako achana nayo hii ende vile tu imekuja kwani unanya night shift kija responds on my behalf anaenda ku get a life unlike us umetoka vacation hebu niache asante sana kwa watch you watching this later on instagram ama on youtube asante sana kwa wakati wako na uache comment regarding what i asked earlier so shira atishira nimefikia kama kija na sheri at the same time sheri kija tunhood mnaweza ona vile ilianza once ni me e upload the something specific ni liuliza then respond to that kwa comment section pia you can just watch this back on youtube for the sake of the view and like the video and leave a random emoji kwa pale for the sake of evidence kija nam kwa heri kwa heri sheri kwa heri tunhood asanteni sana